So it's time now. Bella, if you could help with Eleanor, please. I would appreciate it because she's on a warpath and mommy just left. It's time for a brand new-ish installment of the Pope on film. Or a better way to put it would be it's an installment we've unofficially done a number of times on the show that we've now given an official name to. Yes, it's time once again for the premiere installment of Bunny and Steve's social media shout-outs. Yes. <laughs> shout-outs! A great, I- a great idea you came up with. Shut it. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that, Bunny? A great idea you came up with. Yes, yes. This is a once a week ish segment where we will put a spotlight on a different social media hero of ours, be it a fan of the show or not, but hopefully they are. Um, Bunny, do you have someone that you would like to put a spotlight on this week on the Pope on Film podcast here? Yes. Go I, ahead. I, I'm going to come out oh. with, with my, my most daring. I think. Okay. Um, I'm, I think for this, we should probably only like use first names. Okay. So, so I'm putting the spotlight on Adam. Okay. Now, if Adam listens to it, to this, Adam will know it's him. Cause there's really only one Adam. Okay. Yeah. Um, but Adam always tells me that he appreciates honesty. And I do kind of like the guy, but he's fucking insane. Yeah. He's wonderfully insane. He he is the kind of insane, like, I don't want to get too close to this person because they're probably dangerous. On yeah. some level, you know? Yeah. But... but it's it's hard for me not to appreciate a crazy person. Understood. Understood. Okay. Um, yeah. Adam is a big fan of diapers. Uh, okay. He has some kind of medical condition. Okay. So he has to wear adult diapers. Okay. And he says that he he does not have a diaper fetish but he keeps posting pictures of girls in diapers on his Facebook, like all the fucking time. <laughs> okay. 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 Sure. Sure. Um, Adam, when he dies and he goes through periods where he wants to die, uh, he wants to be buried in a landfill. He just wants to be put in a landfill. Okay. And he has been he has been fighting a legal battle for quite a while for this. Uh, at huh. this point, at this point, he is legally classified as medical waste. In yeah. this fight, he had himself legally declared medical waste. <laughs> yeah, like you do, because like you, you do. can put medical waste in a landfill. <clears throat> Yeah. Nice. That's a good workaround. So he's a I, fun so he's a fun guy to kind of keep an eye on and keep track of um that I don't want to get too close to. Understood. You know. Understood. Like 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 I am comfortable at the Facebook friend limit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm not yeah. at the let's meet for coffee level. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. So don't so, take that don't take that the wrong way, Adam. I I, I do like you. I honestly do. <laughs> yeah. But <clears throat> my life is crazy enough. So that's Good. my that's my shout out shout out to Adam. Okay. My shout out is to a newish friend of mine, a uh, guy who lives in New York. Uh, his name is Guillermo. Already, that's a great name. That is a great name. And uh, he is a fan of the show. He listens to the show all the time. He does not own a TV. So, already right there, that's pretty New York. Yeah. 
just want to say right there. I, I, that's that's a pretty New York thing. I would also like to know if Guillermo uh, knows of the best place in town to get a biscotti. Yeah. Like I assume, like I I don't know a lot about New York, but I assume that everyone in New York has a different favorite place to get everything. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, and yeah. not just food. Not just food. Oh, pizza. You want to go to Mario's? Mario's on Fifth Street? No, Mario's on Twelfth. They are much yeah. better pizzas. That's what I assume about every New Yorker. I can I can understand not wanting a TV if you lived in New York. Yeah. I mean, Why? we are talking about New York City. We're talking about Manhattan, right? I mean, uh, it's expensive as shit. But yeah, he, he lives in New York, New York, as far as I can tell. But this is the city where you can sit back and think of anything at all that you want to do that night, and you can find it. Yeah. That, okay, so that's a good point. That's a good I want to see erotic midget wrestling. It will be there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he's he Guillermo's a good so so yeah, he doesn't have a TV, so he gets all of his entertainment apparently from uh podcasts. Oh, okay. You yes, yes, you've mentioned him and yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, so this man deserves so a shout out. Yeah, he's he's a fan of the show and um he posts some really good stuff. He's a great Facebook friend to have. He posted uh, uh, one or two tributes to uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan, mm -hmm. who just recently died. Yeah. And I, God damn it, I love that man. He recently posted the opening credits to In Search Of with Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. And he also posted, I, I did not know that in 1967 there was an Abbott and Costello cartoon. Uh, I had I had forgotten it, but I had just seen it recently too. Yeah, unaware of that. Yeah, one hundred percent unaware of that. And uh, Abbott is voiced by Abbott. Of course, they didn't get Costello to be Costello, but they got Abbott to voice Abbott. So yeah. it's really weird, weird cartoon. Had never seen that before. So uh, he he's. Really fun, and he's a really good guy. I would now like to get personal for a moment, if I may. I have been showing Guillermo's photo to all of the members of my family. Okay. Showing it to Amber. I've shown it to Emerald. I've shown it to Bella. I've shown it to uh, Natasha. I don't think I've showed it to Maxwell. Eleanor, I think, has actually seen it. Yeah, but I, I I I fully believe that Guillermo comes from an alternate reality in which I had a baby with Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> it's some sort of alternate reality. Maybe there's only men in this alternate reality, and men can get pregnant from other men. I don't know the specifics of this alternate yeah. reality of this different universe because I am stuck in my universe. All I know is that Lin Manuel Miranda, the writer of Hamilton and In the Heights, uh, and a, a really great episode of Drunk History, got together with me, uh -huh. and we had a baby, and that is Guillermo. And just to prove it, I, it, it, he's got a number of pictures here, but there's a specific one, and he's wearing like a bow tie and glasses, and he's looking all dapper. And it's it's perfect. It is perfect. Yeah. My description is 100% accurate. Boom! I just sent it to you. Cool. Okay. I don't. Really I don't. I don't do Facebook while we're doing the show. Okay. Because well, if anything really clicks or bings or anything, it's in the recording. Okay. But you but really Guillermo. Take a look at this guy. But Guillermo. Guillermo. Gu Guillermo. Okay. So Guillermo. Guillermo. Friend me, friend me on Facebook. Uh, you'll find me on the Rev's wall. Uh, on you know, you'll all over. You'll find me fucking somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm a whore. <laughs> nice. 
So, so yeah, yeah. Just wanted to give a shout out to him. So now at the end of Bunny and Steve's social media shout outs, I think to end this bit that you and I should both at the same time yell out the first name of the person we're giving a shout out to at the same time. So let's okay. let's do this on the count of three. One, two, three. Good. Did you just give a shout out to Google, Maxwell? Yeah. Okay, Google doesn't need any shout outs. No. Google knows what you're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs>